time, it's Leander Cave. Hello Leander. Hi, how's it going? It's good. I am from Compu Trader by the way, not Competitor Magazine. <laughs> I'm going to prove you wrong somewhere. <laughs> I reckon probably what, what had happened was you'd had a glass of wine and you were looking at my signature there and comp, uh, competitor, yeah, that's it. Oh, there's a Simon out there from competitor, I know there is. Is there? Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, everyone has a doppelganger. It's just not you. <laughs> okay, well, look, um, we're here in Kona. This is your second or third? Fourth. Fourth. You're losing okay. count. I am. Yeah, better get back to school. <laughs> so, uh, what are your aspirations for Saturday? It's only 36 hours away, as if I need to remind you. I'm just so excited to be here again. I, I feel I've uh, developed uh, this year in particular. I've worked really hard over the winter on my on my compu trainer, and uh, that among other things has given me a lot of confidence going into this year. I had a really uh, strong result in Abu Dhabi, which was early in the season after not as much training as what I've put into this, and and I beat some pretty good names out there. And I feel for that reason and and just the consistent training block that I've had in the eight weeks leading up to this race. I feel I'm really ready and I'm really excited. Every year I've been kind of scared up till now, but I feel really excited this year. Yeah? Yeah. It's, a, and it's, a, it's going to be a tough field, isn't it? Oh, this field gets stronger every year. I think um, oh, the, the pace that Chrissy's setting out there is, is certainly one where everyone's trying to step up to and, uh, you know, it puts a lot more pressure on us. Uh, we have to kind of try and keep step with with the strength that she's showing in the sport mm -hmm. and you know for that reason I think uh, Compu Trainer has really helped me because you know I know what Chrissy is pushing out there and and the Compu Trainer enables me to step up to that level and and work my way to getting to her, her level on the bike. So I know you've you've um, you've been jetting around the world a little bit this year we last met in Nice um, you've moved to Arizona yeah. Yeah, we moved a couple of years ago to Arizona, and until then we were living on the on the west coast in San Francisco. But we uh, we felt we really needed to be in an environment that was more um, suitable for training, better weather and better climate. And so, how how often do you use it during the winter and then during the during the race season? Well, in the winter, I I train indoors about maybe three sessions out of five on the bike. So mm. normally those three sessions are, are compu trainer sessions. They range in, in distance and time. Um, I would say mostly on average over the winter, I'm on it for about two hours at a time. Mm. Yeah. Okay, what's your favorite session then on the compu trainer? Um, or maybe it's your least favorite session that does you the most good? No, you know, I, I'm a real firm believer of um, finding your, the what that is just a bit harder than what you're able to push in a race pace and do repetitive, you know, like, can, Quite a few repetitions at that uh, that intensity. So, you know, a, a favourite block that I do is you know five or five to ten ten minutes uh, holding. I, do, I don't want want to give away my trade secrets, but you know anywhere between two thirty and two fifty watts. Five. So, five times five to ten minutes. Is that right? Uh, no, five times ten. Five to ten times ten minutes. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. A, that's a sort of. So it's a long session. But you know, you can change, like I swap it up, so I'll, within the 10 minutes I'll break it up, I'll do two minutes at uh, one watts and then, you know, another two minutes at another watts and just step it up and down and kind of like simulating a race as well, you know, getting out the saddle a bit and Yeah. Stuff. Leander, imagine that I came up to you now with a bag full of cash for your compu trainer. Open-ended, how much would you demand for me to take it away from you? Well, I'd ask you to put that money into a... Uh, a deposit account with high interest rates when I retire <laughs> with with all my money uh, you give me a lot <laughs> it'll be worth a lot by then because I've had such great results so. so basically it's not for sale not right now no okay no. <laughs> when you're on these two and a half hour training sessions do you, do you use anything to distract you or are you one of these people that's entirely focused on that on those numbers and on, on exactly what you're doing do you, do you listen to music you watch the telly <laughs> I, I can't watch television because I'm always like with my head down, <laughs> if you've not noticed me racing already. Um, I listen to music um, and sometimes my battery's dead in my 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 uh, MP3 player so I, I have to kind of just put up with the mere pleasure of cycling without anything. But um, okay. I don't, you know, my head drifts, I, I use it, it's almost like therapeutic training, I don't know, training, I, I find it kind of... Uh, cleansing training indoors on, on the on the bike. Yeah, turn the phone. I love my compu trainer because it makes me hurt hard, sweat a lot, makes me stronger without having to go out there in 
on the road and and fall off my bike and get hit by cars. That's great. That, that's probably one of the best ones we've had. Unfortunately, you'd have to be disqualified for using too many words. But oh, did you count? So there was 18 and a half. It was not. It wasn't counting. But you somewhere they can go? <laughs> oh, you can find me everywhere. I'm uh, on my own website, leandercave.com, Twitter, Facebook, and you can look on the Blazeman Foundation's website, uh, warronals.com, and you can find me there because that's a foundation that I'm pro proud and happy to support. And when, Leander, thanks very much for your time. We, I know we, we know you've got a lot to do, so we really appreciate you spending this time with us. All right. Have a great race on Saturday. Thanks. We'll be out there rooting for you. Yeah. Um, viewers, thank you very much for listening once again. I'd like to say uh, mahalo for your time and uh, mahalo for yours, Leander. Thanks very much. Mahalo.